Okay, we're going to open up GarageBand and make a song. You can see in GarageBand we have some songs that we already made. Click on this little plus sign, new song. You've got a lot of different options as to what to record, too many to go into detail here, and a lot that we're not going to take advantage of in this tutorial. But we're going to first go into drums and lay down a drum beat. Now the cool thing about GarageBand is you can play drums in kind of an active manner. You can choose different drum kits to use. We're going to use a hip hop drum machine. And then you've got a ton of different settings. If you click on this little puzzle piece up here, you can choose how many sections your uh, little part is going to have, eight measures, or if you want to do four measures, uh, you can do whatever. We're going to do four. Then over in here, you've got some settings which can uh, change your tempo if you're going to have a metronome play. So we're going to go to about 120 beats per minute. Um, and then all you do is you hit uh, the record button and you'll have a little count in before you start and you make a beat. And you've got four measures of a drum beat then. So you can go back to uh, your view of all your tracks here at the top and play what you've just recorded. I think we need a little bass. I'll add a new track. I'm going to do bass on the keyboard, but you can also do bass playing um, kind of like a simulated actual bass guitar. We're going to do a keyboard bass. Now the keyboard defaults to piano and you can change what kind of piano you want or you can go up here to synth bass which we're going to choose and we'll just choose a car horn bass. We don't know what that sounds like but actually we don't like that. Let's go to um, 80's mixtape. Sounds much more groovy. Yeah. So then um, once you hit record you'll have a little count in again and you'll do this over top of your drums that you already created. And then you've laid down a nice funky bass track. Now again you can go back out and listen to what you made. Now, if that's a little too weird for you and you don't like that, you can just delete this track and redo it, no problem. This time we'll go into uh, the bass guitar, and you can choose different guitars here, muted, picked, we'll do an upright bass. You can also just play the notes in chord form here, or you can also go to just the notes. And we'll do that. And then you've just put down a bass track. Then you can also go back and add as many tracks as you want. say we want to add another one we'll go to you can plug a guitar amp in here record your voice but this sampler is actually pretty cool we'll create something out of uh, our own voice a note um, just go to new sample here and hit start oh yeah now we've created a, our own keyboard sound oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah We'll move the octave up here. A little too high. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, someone's at the door. So now basically we hit record. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. 
And now you've recorded a, another track with your own voice. So we go back out here to listen to everything that we've made. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So you obviously get pretty creative with this, but if we go back up to the other songs we've made, you can hear uh, something maybe a little bit more normal. Um, we'll go to this and play what we've created. And this is all done in the same manner. And then if you want to make um, you know more extended songs, you can also go back to that little puzzle piece that we showed earlier. And I'll go to a song that's got a little bit more to it here. Uh, it's got different sections, so if we click on here, we've got section C, which is four bars, eight bars, 16 bars, and obviously they're rearranged because it goes from C, D, B, F, E, G. So that just gives you a little sample of what GarageBand can do. For five bucks, uh, sky's the limit. There's different export options, so you can send these to your computer or export uh, an AIF file. Um, or an mp3 file, I'm sorry, and email it to yourself and share it with your friends.